got all that concrete in here. Went in nicely. Got all the racking taken down. Uh, looks pretty good. We had to take it a little off center there in the front row because of the drain field. But it'll be fine. This one was poured a year or two ago. Let's see what it looks like after a little while. This one turned out really good. Hope this one turns out almost as good anyway. So most people don't do the wind loading and engineering on their uh, racks and they end up under building them. Just to put in perspective for you a little bit here. Uh, this is 18,000 pounds of concrete holding this down. And that's based on the calculations. Now that's for Florida with, uh, we do have hurricanes, so I had to go to 120, 130 mile an hour winds. Right, so it takes 18,000 pounds to hold that down. That's what the uplifts are. This one was 9,000 pounds. You know, that's 300 bags of 60 pound bags. So, you know, don't think that a couple of bags of concrete are going to hold the, a panel down like an array like this. Um, now, if you're in the Midwest and you don't see hurricanes and you only got 60 mile an hour winds, it's velocity squared, so you can reduce it quite a bit. I think it's four times, so you could drop to, for this size array with 60 mile an hour winds, you might get away with 4,000 pounds. I haven't done the math on that, but uh, anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because I see a lot of arrays that are seriously underbuilt, and that's fine until the wind blows. All right, so anyway, before I do any more, I got to trim some trees. I don't want those branches hanging over this. So it might not blow away, but if one of these trees falls on it, that's going to be all she wrote. So let's trim some trees.